Good morning everyone. I have decided that for my second video, this topic is all about mathematics. It's all about multiplication table. But this trick will only be applied from number 6 to 10. This trick is for anybody that do not like to memorize the multiplication table. So what do we need to use by doing this trick? And this trick is very simple, very simple only. This trick only needs our hands. We're going to use our fingers, not to hate math, not to hate our life, because we don't like memorizing multiplication table, specifically the multiplication table 6 and ab above, because it's like bigger numbers. So... Those numbers is hard to memorize. Sometimes it will not stick in our brain. So by using this trick, we will get to answer multiplication table the easy way without bringing a calculator, bringing a piece of pen with you when you want to multiply numbers. Let's go. I hope you learned something. Have fun watching and let's go. So... Here's your hands, I mean my hands, and my fingers. So this is the trick. This is about multiplication table from number 6 to 9. This does not apply to 6 times 5 and below. It only applies 6 times 6, 6 times 7, up to 6 times 10. And so us in reverse, like 10 times 6, you know, 10 times 9, and 9 times 6, and going down. So, I hope you will learn something from using your fingers after watching this video. Now it's time to get into the examples on how to do this trick. So, here we go. Before... We are going to start with a trick. I just want to explain what is our fingers are for. Why do we need to use it? Well, this is how it goes. Since we are talking about multiplication, and we say that this multiplication, multiplication will only be applied with the number 6 and above, 6 to 10. And since we have 10 fingers, this Fingers, both sides, will represent from 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. So, the little one is 6. The second ring finger is for 7. The middle finger is 8. The next one, our index finger, is for 9. And our thumb is number 10. So, us... We multiplied both sides of our hands against each other with the number 6 to 10. Our fingers will have values. Like for example, listen to this very carefully. Like for example, we will multiply 8 times 8. So as we all know, both fingers or both hands have fingers that's designated to number 8. We know this is 6, 7, and 8. The same on the, on the other side. The left side, same in the middle. So let's go. We'll put our fingers like that. And we all know that's re that represent 8 times 8. What we will do now then that we have that so we will then add from 8 down to 6 we will add them and their equivalent to each fingers are 10 each of them so we will count 10 20 30 40 including both 8, 50, and 60. So it's like 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. 
then what we will do with the remaining fingers we will also multiply them against each other so two on the right side two on the left side two times two is equals to four and after that we will add both products together so 60 plus 4 is equals to 64 and that's the answer of 8 times 8 so is the value enough is the explanation enough no so let's move on and have another example of the values of our fingers just watch this so here we go all our fingers from both sides of our hand, both side, right and left, all of them represent 10. Like for example, if we are to multiply 10 times 10, from 10 below, they are all 10. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. The answer is 100. So that's how it is. And if it is 9 times 9, from 9 and below is 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. So, and the remaining is to be multiplied against each other. And 1 times 1 is 1. The answer of 9 times 9 is 81. And that's how it's supposed to be. So, let's move on to the next example. Now it comes to our mind, does it work really from 6 and above? I guess it does. So let's try 7 times 8. Let's go. 7 on the left side, 8 on the other side, which is from both fingers from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6, 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6, 7, 8. So that's like, that's our 6, 7, 6, 7, and 8. So let's go. 7 times 8. Start to count. 10, 20, 30. The other hand. 40, 50. So that's already 50. Let's multiply then the remaining fingers. 2 times 3 is equals to 6. So 50, you didn't add all of them. 50 plus 6 is equals to 56. Now, you can use your calculator. If you are really are not sure about the process, and see if 7 times 8 is really equals to 56. 7 times 8 is equals to 56. So let us say whether it works. Let's try from 9 multiplied into something 6 and above. So let's try 9 times 6. On the left hand, 6, 7, 8, 9. On the right hand, 6. So, 9 times 6. Let's count. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. 1 times 4 is equals to 4. So, 50 plus 4 is equals to 54. Let's say if the answer is correct from the calculator. So here we go. 9 times 6 is equals to 54. So now I'm hoping that in this video you have learned something. Some tricks that probably not any of you have learned in your lifetime. But there may be some of you that also have learned this trick from long long time ago but have forgotten about it me on the other hand i haven't forgotten about it and it sticks with me 
and it helps me a lot in so many cases in so many ways in life and don't forget to just memorize your number your fingers what's the number that are designated for them so happy multiplication day happy mathematics day and enjoy life using your hands and your fingers